Namaste and welcome to this exciting episode of Satology Debunking Mythology. Satology means science of truth, the study of truth. Opposite to that is mythology, which means science or study of fake lie or imagination. So today we have chief, the wife of the chief of the tribe. And I just want to, I got a chance to speak with her and she's here. So welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. So I just wanted to learn a little bit about the, the, the culture which you saw or experienced and how did you see the women in the community because that's a very important part of the community. Sure. Um, well, I unfortunately don't have any experience with living on a reservation myself, but I have spoken to many women who have and still do and their role in you know, supporting family and making sure um, culture is continued throughout. They're so proud. You wouldn't even imagine how proud they are to um, simplest things, using a restroom in an outhouse. You know, um, of course, we try to get them to realize that you know, they should be living in better conditions and hoping that, but they're proud. This is what they learned. This is what the life they've led. And um, they don't want to change it, you know. Of course, they have their children who have, you know, been successful and come and want to build them more and help them. So, But these women are, again, they're proud and they, they enjoy doing the things they do traditionally, you know, from grinding corn to you know, just being the supportive um, people in <clears throat> their youth lives that continue the cultures of uh, in any and every way they can. You know, the, the, the women, they bring up the kids and the, it's more responsibility of women to create the next leaders if, uh, if any community has to survive. Sure. So what did you notice or what is your observation about the education by the women when the kids are in the community? In the community, it's really important for um, mothers to guide, <clears throat> to protect, to um, encourage, to push, and also to support. No matter which direction your children go in, you know, you have to be the supportive parent. And um, just continue to do your best to just make sure that when they go out into society that they are ready to be there. They are ready to be um, contributors of society. And um, so it's really, really important. It's a real tough job for a mother of, in, in any culture, as you know. You know, um, it takes a lot to be a mother. It takes a lot to bring up strong, healthy um, contributors to society. And I mean, again, Native women are very proud to do so. So does it put a lot of responsibility on your shoulder being the wife of the chief? Yes. <laughs> I'm not going to downplay it at all. Yes, it is. Um, he's very, very active in everyone's lives. and. Um, the love that he shows to each and every member and each and every person is tremendous. I mean, he'll take a call in the middle of dinner, which he gets scolded for. <laughs> but anyway, um, <clears throat> he's there to support everyone and answer questions and just push everyone. I mean, and he does. He pushes everyone to um, teach their children to... Um, teach their children to be proud natives, you know, natives of this wonderful United States, you know. Um, and I, I appreciate who he is, but yes, at times it gets hard because everything he does brings on more work for me. <laughs> Every person he speaks to brings on more work for me. Um, and how could I not support someone so loving, you know? How could I not support the cause he's, you know, what he's involved in and what he's doing, you know. So I'm as supportive as, as I can be. 
I mean, without your support, I think the chief won't be able to function as well, right? Would you say like that? Yeah, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you, uh, very, very words that you use was United States, the natives of United States you use, the natives of wonderful <coughs> United States, that's what you use. Yes. Would you see that you will cover Canada too? Like sure, that? yes, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, um, people from Canada or natives from Canada have come down to assist um, before my husband was the chief. You know, they assisted him in <clears throat> doing some um, saving a community in Huntington Beach. Uh, that was years, years ago, but nonetheless, they came and they were supportive all the way from Canada to Huntington Beach to be a part of what he was doing for um, the native culture. I mean, it's a lot of, this, like I'm talking about millions of people. Sure. We're looking at millions of people here. When you say, uh, you know, the total native population, what they say right now is 12 million, not 11 million people. And, uh, and I think it will be much more than that. Because I think it's forty percent of the United States should be connected with some kind of native population. Right. Uh, so it's a big, big responsibility. So what are the things which you see can be from? So you are the leader of the uh, your supporting chief, and which also includes a lot of women and children. And you will also be looking at providing some building a leadership from the women's side. Have you thought about that or are you already doing it? I don't know. Well, like I told you before, sitting down here with you, I get tongue tight. So um, a lot of my thoughts <clears throat> I'll share with him uh -huh. and, um, and share with others as well. But I mean, it's just hard for me to get my words out a lot of times. So I mean, yeah. You can hide me and just speak <laughs> to the camera. Remove me from the picture. Okay. Okay. So the uh, one of the things which I went to your home was beautiful, well decorated home, and uh, the nutrition I heard, nutrition and uh, I was seeing the video about the addiction, and those things are major problems, and we have seen that wherever the women are weak or made weaker by other people, by systems, children go astray. Is that, do you think, what happened with many children? Um, well, I mean, there is only so much you can do as parents. <clears throat> but, um, and our job is to, you know, try to keep them from going astray, try to keep them from making bad choices in life. And, you know, even when they're adult children, you know, or there are adult children, we still push them to be and to remember the things that they grew up learning. And a lot of times it's hard, you know, because they are adults and they feel like they know everything they need to know. But it doesn't, you know, being a parent, it never stops, especially when you do have a child that does go astray and chooses to do things that are out of your control. It's heartbreaking, it's, um, you know, disturbing, it's, you're worried at every hour of the day what may become of your child or um, what they may do. And um, again, you just have to continue to be strong and push them, um, the best way you can find possible um, and just never forget you are the parent and you just have to continue to push. So in, in, I'm changing topic a little bit so that I get into the other side of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, education, food and method of worship many places. Yes. So what do you see the education level? How do you see the education level in the community? Um, in the community I'm in now? Yes. I see it being very important and I do see a lot more <clears throat> uh, 
um, children graduating and going on and furthering their education and um, the parents that have pushed them and also have been educated and um, I mean there's nothing more important than to get a good education and have good uh, role models in your life and I think those role models are educators you know because they're not in it for a paycheck you know they're in it to better society to better our children um, <clears throat> So, I mean, yes, I mean, you push and you try to make sure that your, your children get the best education they can possibly get. But with that, it does take more than just parents. It does take a community. It does take family. It does take, you know, any and every resource that you can possibly get to make sure that your children do get the education they deserve and need. In the, in the first interview, of chief with us in your home, mm -hmm. your daughter commented on the interview okay. and oh, right. about the chief. <clears throat> and your daughter was loving the discussion we had, and she said so much love to both of you on the interview. So, so, uh, so people are watching, and social media has become a big thing, especially for coming out of the mainstream media shackles. And unfortunately, social media is also being used by the same guys who are kicked out of the mainstream on social media trying to impose same restrictions again. So how do you see social media as an enabler for education and, and promoting the lifestyle of the community? Like you just said, <clears throat> you can learn <clears throat> anything on social media. And that's so unfortunate because you have babies on cell phones just flipping through YouTube or any other social media and you know they're learning this before they learn how to speak how to use social media yeah. and thumb, so thumb. it's scary what you know you can learn or what our children can learn but at the same time you can use it for the better of everything and everyone you know you can learn anything from fixing a car to making a fabulous native taco you know <laughs> I want to try you, that you know you day. can use it for your benefit as well so people are getting educated not just um, the bad stuff you know that happens online it that it, it, it's also a really great resource for it you know to um, get answers to questions but like you said you know you do have to be careful because not everything you read or see online is is correct so you know it should be further researched but I mean it is a, a great way to like some people don't type so you know you can use these apps and things that can will type for you you're speaking and it's typing away as you speak so I mean it's a great benefit to use social media no AI is going to be the big destructor of many of the human potentials right now because the so far the social media has made people away from the actual land, working in the field, growing food, mm -hmm. connecting with the nature. And the chief highlighted to us that you grow your own food in your backyard. I do. Most of the mm -hmm. things. And which is, I'm trying to do that in my house in Bonita. Where I'm trying to grow food as much as I can. So I have tomatoes, I have, most of the things which I need are from my from backyard. Mm -hmm. I need to do more. I also need to do more. Um, I'm new at it. I just started maybe three years ago and so but this year I have been productive so I mean I've been able to eat some of my own you know produce and use some of it for um, upset stomach or you know medicine wise you know and um, so the longer I continue to st you know keep my focus on making sure that I am doing this, I think the better off, you know, our nutrition will be. And, you know, again, you know, you can use a lot of this stuff for medicinal purposes as well. You know, I really like the grace that you explain and you carry yourself. I know it's a big responsibility also for you. One of the things which comes is when you come from outside the community mm -hmm. into the community, what did you observe? What did you see was not right? 
and what do you think can be improved and what do you think you learned no oh, you want tears <laughs> yeah um how do you not want to just go into a reservation and give? Give everything and anything you have so that these kids don't have to suffer or, or maybe even get sick from water they drink or see the holes in the shoes to um, like I was talking about earlier, you know, listening to the stories of the elder women and how proud they are and how they live. But at the same time, you know, you just want to give them more or show them that there's better ways. I'm sure they, you know, they get, they get it from their younger uh, generations, but it's just hard to see. You know, it's hard to see um, the poverty they live in. As a matter of fact, we have a few bags of clothes going to one of the, um, I don't know if everyone knows, there, there was a big fire in San Carlos and a lot of homes got burned and so it means they've lost everything. So we have a few bags and it's not much, but it's something from the heart. We have some friends, actually they're um, a part of the End Apache. They're going there to go deliver truckloads of clothing, food, anything, you know, people are willing to give to help these people. Uh, we would like to, uh, through a non-profit, we would like to get involved in supporting that. Mm -hmm. uh, we would like, love to do that. Uh, and you did not answer one part of the question. Which was? Which was that what, so you mentioned what you saw, but what you learned from them. Gosh learn so much especially appreciation appreciation for the education I've been able to receive and um, the family the, the strong family ties that you know have held me together through thick and thin um, it's um, I'm not really sure how to uh, So did you, did you feel any time that uh, since you come from outside the community, did you feel that you are not part of the community ever? Oh, no, never, never. So that's a warmth of the community. I can feel it also here. Yeah, and it's what you would feel. Like um, I know my husband was talking about uh, going to powwow. You feel the warmth, the love, the support of everyone that is in attendance at a at a powwow you know if you look like an outsider you know people pull you in you know make you feel a part of our family which you probably are you know somewhere down the line we're all related all of us are would you like to say something to the audience about being the the women leader of the community, or how they can connect with the community more. You send, mentioned San Carlos, mm -hmm. the the food drive and the clothes drive, and how community can also, who is watching, can contribute. Well, it's not just San Carlos. You know, right now they are in need, but it's also in your own communities. You know, any way you can give, any way you can support or any way you can help, especially, you know, the, the kids, the kids in the community. If you see them doing something wrong, let them know, you know, in a respectful way, let them know. And be an example, be an example for uh, the people around you, your community especially, and um, with, with your help, and I'm talking to every single person, kids can benefit so greatly. I mean, there's, there's no limits to what you can do to help your community. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. And uh, being a chief, uh, I would like to say come again, and this time you should.